Annyeong haseyo! Curious about the Philippines and Korea? Our podcast is for you! Annyeong kwento mo! It's a podcast where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Hosted by Lloyd and Jazz, be amazed and inspired with different stories yet to unfold. Listen to our podcast only here at Pinoy Soul Radio. podcast where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Do you have a story to share? Well then, here is Annyeong Kwento Mo, Cherika Lauren. Annyeong, I'm Lloyd. Annyeong, I'm Jazz. And we are back with another episode. Yes, that's right, Jazz. Pero let me ask you before before natin introduce yung guest natin, no? bakit parang medyo exciting ka ngayon na i-reveal yung guest natin? Ano bang meron? Ano bang, anong meron? Uh, I, alam mo naman, I'm always excited uh, for recordings kasi yung podcast na to, it gave us a chance to uh, meet people na yung hindi naman natin inakala na mamimit. Like, uh, sina, ano, yung Philippine Ambassador, uh, si Kim Min Kim, mm-hmm. di ba? Nuna Chronicles, di ba? Oh, Nuna Chronicles. And then... Uh, meron, pa no. isang, meron pang isang secret na ano. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the diba? secret show. See, oh, natawa siya. Secret. And then, uh, although the sad part nito is virtually, pero yeah. at least, in a way, na-meet natin. ba? Diba? And we get to hear yung voice. Yun nga lang, iba pa rin yung uh, face-to-face. Diba? face-to-face. And yung guest natin today kasi, she has this skill na gustong gusto ko talaga matutunan. Same. And yung din, itong <laughs> pandemic, share ko lang din, I tried to, uh, tawag dito, self-learn. Pero nung nag-OJT pa, tinawad na din. Ano, I wanted to learn kasi yun nga, K-pop fan. And, wala. Ano, it's a parang ano, thing ng mga K-pop fan. Sabi, wish ko lang na, sana naiintindihan ko yung sinasabi nitong mga idol ko. So, ayun. Alam mo, Jax, nung sinabi mo yung wish ko lang, <laughs> very <laughs> nakarelate din ako. Kasi diba, as ano as someone na uh, very into K-pop talaga, I guess, yun yung isa sa mga pinaka-main struggle talaga natin. Yung yung language barrier, di ba? Pero, itong guest natin kasi, grabe. Nung, alam mo yun, yung in natin sa sa TikTok, parang, wow! Yes. Di ba? Parang grabe po. Paano po? Paano po? Paano niya nagagawa yung ganong bagay? And it's really impressive, di ba? Kasi imagine, uh, you're a Filipino, pero learning a new language, di ba? A, a language na something you love. Grabe. Parang it's really impressive talaga. And ayun nga, since mention mo na yung K-pop, siguro kapag siya, bawa, let's say, manunood ng Run BTS or something na live, parang hindi na pasok sa vocabulary niya yung translation na ano? Parang hindi na niya kailangan. Yeah, and uh, oh, and remember yung ano, uh, second episode natin with Kim Min Kim, I mentioned dun, sa intro din na I think the first step in learning the culture of a place or a country is learning the language. And, di ba, and Kim Min Kim talagang he said yes. Yung parang nag-nod siya. So, that's the key talaga. Uh, that's the key and at least we know na I was right in a way. And it was and it was from ano, a Korean national. So, I guess tama na ako. Going back sa ating um, guest for today's episode, very should I say really expert in Korean language yung ganon. Parang feeling ko talaga, halimbawa, nanood ka ng uh, nag-livestream ang isang K-pop group out of nowhere, let's say BTS. Di ba pag livestream sa, let's say, uh, what they call the, the app, Be Live, walang, walang ready na 
uh, translation kasi di ba it's live so hindi, hindi siya uh, ano hindi pa siya kayang lagyan ng, ng translation so feeling ko itong guest natin di ba kung tayo halimbawa tuma- may pinagtatawanan si na JK makikitawa na lang tayo oh, oh, kasi tumawa makaka- mas makaka-relate siya <laughs> alam mo yun yung hindi lang tayo ha 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 di ba yes and yun nga this person straight up understands the show and amazing talaga And I'm sure na may mga listeners tayo who also wish just to acquire her skills. Especially na, alam mo yun, here in our podcast, uh, most of these people talaga, mga listeners natin, have interest in either K-pop, K-drama, or the culture itself. Uh, yes, and let's see what kind of tips yung mabibigay niya sa atin. Yeah, and I ako, personally, I will take note of this. Ako din. Maybe, Actually, if mukhang... I'm free ako, I will yeah. go back and try again. So, and now enough of us, Lloyd. Uh, please introduce this uh, guest we have for this week. Ayan na. Tayo na pa siyang tawa ng tawa sa atin dito. Eh, Kita-kita ko sa screen. But anyway, uh, our guest for today's episode is a 22-year-old Filipina vlogger and TikToker or content creator that is known for her impressive Korean language speaking skills. Currently, she has over 155,000 followers and 1.9 million likes on TikTok. Please welcome on the show, Ms. Cherka Lorenz. Hello, Hello po! po. Hello! <laughs> Kanina pa siyang tumatawa talaga eh. Very enjoy na enjoy agad siya sa ano, ng podcast natin. Um, before anything else, I would just like to take na lang this opportunity to thank uh, Ms. Lorraine for recommending Ayan. me to be part of today's episode of Anyong Kwento Mo. Kasi um, never in my wildest dreams have I actually imagined that I will be invited, you know, to be interviewed in a podcast. Kasi sino ba naman ako para ma-invite sa isang podcast? Sino po kami? <laughs> sino po kami? <laughs> sino ba naman kami? Pero hindi naman talaga ako parang, parang, parang hindi deserve. Parang, ewan ko no, lang ha. Deserve niya po. So, I was very thankful. So, thank you again, Mr. Ray, for this amazing opportunity. And of course, to you, Jazz and Lloyd, for accepting her recommendation. Of you know, course. to invite me and to have me as well. So, actually, I am really nervous right now. And I feel so overwhelmed. So, I hope to have, you know, a smooth conversation with the both of you, despite me being new to this um, podcast thing. <laughs> so, I am new So, I <laughs> <laughs> para para sa mga first time dito. But ayun nga, uh, Miss Cherka, anyways, uh, welcome to Anyong Kwento Mo Podcast. Alam namin na it's your first time here, pero we will make sure na it's going to be a memorable one for you. With that po, uh, Miss Cherka, uh, I'm excited. Yung listeners po namin uh, probably is also excited. Uh, For the first question po namin for this podcast, can you tell us more about yourself po? Siguro mapapahaba yata yung chika ko dito, pero... <laughs> It's okay po. Oh, so, my name is Cherica Lorenz Kumpio Padulio. Yung po talaga yung complement ko. But um, the people who personally know me call me Chika. And I do prefer being called Chika talaga because it has been my nickname since, since I was a kid. Uh, I am turning 23 this year, and I'm from Tanawan, Leyte. I'm from Leyte, so my first language is actually not Tagalog. It's not the Filipino language, but it is Waray-Waray po. So I speak four languages, Waray-Waray, Filipino, oh, wow. English, and Korean. Whoa! <laughs> 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 so, yes. Multilingual. Amazing. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then I am the eldest among four siblings, so I have two younger sisters and a younger brother. And then, although I'm not earning a lot of money, I still consider myself a breadwinner because uh, most of my decisions in life are, parang you know, it's all, um, parang so for example, how I could help my family, and how I could ha- uh, provide better solutions when it comes to financial situations, mga ganon. So yeah, I could. Uh, say that all the things that I've, I'm doing right now I are actually for myself and of course most importantly for my family. Um, I also love K-pop of course. I love Korean dramas which are some <laughs> of the reasons why, why I got enthralled with the Korean language and uh, last year I was also appointed as the honorary reporter of Korea.net 
Uh, Korea.net is a multilingual government portal of the Korean government and it is handled by the Korean Culture and Information Service which is an affiliate of uh, the Ministry of Culture, Sport and Tourism in Korea. So hopefully this year I'll be appointed again yeah. along with hundreds of Filipinos. So, uh, tapos, ano, hopefully, I mean, uh, because also of the pandemic, doon ko nalalabas yung parang creativity ko in content creating as well as to showcase my my not so fluent skills in Korean. Hindi ko talaga masasabi expert ako. I'm parang I am capable of, you know, speaking the language, but hindi ko talaga ma-consider ko yung sarili ko na parang expert or super fluent. So yon. Cherica Lawrence right now is like a blooming TikToker. Wow. <laughs> blooming TikToker. <laughs> With 156,000 followers and a small mm. YouTuber with 4,000 subscribers, and yeah, you know, I'd like to take this opportunity again, talaga, to clarify because I have been asked this question a lot. I have never been to Korea, po. Yon. So yeah, I guess that's it about me. Ito nila wala sa question namin yon. Puntalas kasi yung tinatanong. Four languages is not a joke. Iba. It's very uh, impressive po. Uh, we would like to know, what were your hobbies before making content po on YouTube and TikTok? Um, actually, before I was making content on TikTok at YouTube, I was not parang entirely connected with TikTok at all. I was not doing TikTok. Talaga. Like, like I was one of the people who loved TikTok back then. Like I really admit that I was one of those na who used the question now. Bakit ka nagtitiktok? Anong ginagawa ko? Like, ako talaga, ganun talaga ako. Like, last year lang talaga ako nag-try mag-tiktok. And because of the reason that I barely knew what tiktok could offer, akala ko, like, puro sayaw-sayaw lang yung nandun. Kasi that's what I see from the people I know. Same. Dun yung ginagawa nila. So, before making content on tiktok, I was just doing nothing. Like, I was just the typical student na may school requirements during pandemic. Ganun lang. And then, yung usual hobbies ko talaga, yun, listening, uh, singing, and dancing to okay. K-pop. <laughs> yun Very yung talented hobby. pala. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, naabutan ako ng madaling araw, kakanoon ng k-drama sa bahay. Kasi, kasi actually, wala kami yung internet. So, wala kami yung wifi. So, so mga hating gabi, doon lang yung malakas yung signal. signal yeah. so, kaya ako naabutan nga ng alas stress ng ubaga. Kakanood lang ng kidrama. Yun lang talaga yung ginagawa ko. And then, parang yung... Kasi, di ba, yung pandemic parang nag-struggle mostly yung Filipino families. Kasama na rin kami. So, like, I tried reselling, mga ganun, mga lip tints, kahit hindi ko naman, like, I'm not fun though using those nagawa kong ganun. Nag-try mag-resell lang of peanut butter with the help of my classmate din kasi parang nakatry ako ng iba't ibang kahit ang ano nung pandemic. And then actually, nung nag-2021, uh, kinuha ako ng tita ko sa kanila. So, naka, uh, uh, na, tumira ako ng almost one year, last year, buong 2021 ko sa Tacloban City. And thankfully, may internet sila. So, doon ko na-try yung TikTok. <laughs> sa kanila ko na-try yung TikTok. Like, parang hindi ko talaga may isip ang mag-TikTok kung hindi ako tumira sa Tacloban. So, I really, I'm very thankful for the opportunity na kinuha rin ako ng tita ko sa kanila to live with them. You know, to use their internet resources na rin. So, ganun. Yun. Like, I was enjoying K-pop and K-drama before. And then, after that, na-try ko na mag-TikTok. Yun. <laughs> <laughs> I relate po dun sa, bakit ka nag-TikTok? Okay. Before, parang iba din talaga yung impression ko with TikTok. Pero nung, alam mo yun, nung Nag-pandemic. ako na mismo, doon hindi ako nag-TikTok ha. I mean, may account lang, same. tapos nagbabrowse. Oh. Grabe din yung entertainment kasi na napoprovide oh, oh. niya. Hindi lang siya like yung sa, for common people kasi parang ang alam lang nila, dancing lang talaga, singing yung ginagawa. Pero like may mga skits doon na very entertaining. Mm-hmm. May ating mga uh, like information na, yeah, do, yung mga ganun bagay. So, very diverse talaga yung nayo offer ng TikTok now. So, sorry po for judging. <laughs> Opo. Oh, I'll take this opportunity as well to Same apologize. Po. Like, grabe yung parang, hindi ko alam yung term, parang, hindi ko alam yung prejudice or parang mm-hmm. stereotype na naaano ko dati sa TikTok. Yeah, same. And then, nung nandun na ako, dun ko na parang na, parang learn and unlearn things. Nung nandun na ako, like, ako na mismo yung gumagamit. Same, same. 
Pero um for this next question po, I'm very much interested to know since na mentioned niyo na po yung uh, like K-pop, K-dramas. When was that moment po that made you become interested in learning the Korean language? Was it yung ba yung time na very addicted na po kayo sa like sa mga K-pop groups or K-dramas or nag-start lang yung curiosity niyo to learn the language nung nag-pandemic? Kailan po nag-start? Actually, I started becoming a K-pop fan last 2009. Pero yung interest ko to learn the Korean language, 2014 na talaga siya. As in 2014. Kasi po, actually, noong 2013, yung November 2013, yung after ng yung Super Typhoon Haiyan, yung Bagyong Yolanda sa amin, nagbuboom kasi that time yung BTS at yung EXO dito sa lugar namin. And then, noong 2014 po, nagsidatingan po sa amin yung parang Republic of Korea Army, Marine, lahat ng parang um, parang armed forces ng Republic of Korea. And then, noong 2014 na po yun. So, that, syempre, parang naka-addict-addict talaga ako dati sa EXO at saka sa BTS. Hanggang ngayon pa rin naman. Pero grabe yes. po yun. Hindi ko ma-explain yung parang pagmamahal ko sa kanila that time. So, yun po, nung dupating po yung mga sundalo, um, actually, the reason why they came to our town because they wanted to parang rebuild some of the um, government infrastructures, yung mga ganon. Tapos, they also did a lot of recreational activities. And then, one of their programs was yung free Korean language classes. So, I really took that over kasi, kasi diba, na-mention ko na I like singing the K-pop songs. Yung main goal ko talaga dati is para to sing the K-pop lyrics lang with the right pronunciation. So, yung lang talaga yung main goal ko. So, yung before nag-open yung free classes, parang me and my friends, tatlo kami, si CJ and si Sam, kami-kami lang yung lang, parang nag- nag- nag-aral ng alphabet. Alphabet lang, like kaming tatlo. And then, when I discovered na of the next town sa Tanawang Chispalo na nag-open sila ng parang free Korean language classes. Parang I really took that opportunity to go there kahit a town after pa. Like, tapos gabi pa yung classes 6 to 8 p.m. Tapos I was 14 turning 15 years old that time. Hindi rin ako marunong mag-commute. Parang na-learn ko na lang din mag-commute para lang, para lang talaga mag-attend sa free Korean language classes na yun. So yon, it was my first time to learn Korean language from a Korean native talaga. Yung mga sundalo, na Koreano, sila yung nagturo. Tapos parang super basics lang talaga like read, write, and then memorize yung basic expressions. Tapos super simple sentences lang. Doon, doon nag-start 2014, year 2014, it all started there talaga. Yon. Wow. <laughs> Pero with that experience po during yung 2014, how was the experience po? Nag-struggle ko ba at first? Oh. Or talagang, ay, sige, naka-adapt agad ako oh. yung gano'n. Paano po? I, I, don't, I don't know with other people, pero ako talaga, I had mixed parang fun and frustrations while learning the Korean language. Kasi actually, nung 2014, it was not the last Korean class that I attended. Kasi... Parang tinake for granted ko lang talaga siya yung 2014 na class na yun kasi super basics lang yung natutunan ko. And then, nung nag-2015, parang, parang nakalimutan ko siya kasi yung classes, I mean, kasi nung 2014 din, parang nag-COEan yung mga Korean. So, parang mga 7 months or 4 months yata na classes, tapos twice a week lang yung classes. So, parang hindi talaga ako natuto ba? Parang super basic na like, hindi ko kayang, hindi ko kayang mag-construct ng parang complex sentences. Like, hindi ko talaga kaya. So, yun yung struggle. Kasi nung nagsitatingan sila, wala na akong parang, tsaka dati kasi dito sa amin, mahirap parang learning resources sa Korean language. Like, sariling sikap ka talaga, hindi ka tulad ngayon na sobra, sobrang sa amin resources. Like, maraming websites, maraming YouTube tutorials, maraming ganun. Dati kasi, mahirap naka-fresh pa yung Yolanda, yung bagyo. So, so wala rin internet. So, yung noong 2014 hanggang 2016, parang wala akong interest sa Korean language. Noong 2016, doon ko na-realize na, grabe, sayang yung inaral ko noong 2014. Ba't, ba't ko binaliwala? Ba't ko gina? So, yun, noong 2016 hanggang 2019, parang nag-back to zero ako. Doon, nag-self-study ulit ako. Like, ako lang, like, hindi ko alam kung tama yung yung ginagawa ko, hindi ko alam. Talaga, doon ko na parang na-discover yung YouTube tutorials na meron palang, meron palang tutorials na YouTube. Pero hindi ko talaga alam doon. 
Tapos, dati, marami akong kaibigan nakasama habang nag-aaral. So, nung 2016 to 2020, ako na lang. Yung mga kaibigan ko dati, hindi na, wala na silang interest. Parang ako na lang mag-isa. Hindi ko nga alam kung bakit na-feel ko na aralin ulit. Parang may, pero merong lang nag-pop up na parang fire dito. Parang passion na, uy, aralin ko, aralin ko ulit. So, nung 2019, nung nag-first year college na ako, may, may na-discover ulit ako free Korean language class. sa tita sa Tacloban. So yun nag-enroll ulit ako and then nakapasa ako nag intermediate. Nagkaroon ako ng certificate. So yun na. And then nung sa advanced na na class, hindi na naman hindi na. <laughs> para yung language, yung Korean language journey ko, hindi siya talaga consistent. So nag nag-stop na naman ako nung mag-2020 na 2020 kasi na busy rin ako sa sa advanced ROTC journey ko, yung ganoon laging busy. So hindi ko na naman siya na pag-aralan at saka hindi ko na hindi ko na reach yung class ng expert sa yun yung class na inattendan ko dati kasi nag pandemic nagsara sila so parang wala na naman na postpone na naman yung language journey ko yung learning language na journey ko so nang 2020 ano wala ulit wala nang 2021 talaga nang start ako mag TikTok nakakita kasi ako ng parang educational videos din sa TikTok na parang pwede mong maduet o kasi mapapractice yung speaking skills. Doon nabuhayin na naman ulit. So, 2021 hanggang ngayon, iba, parang nabuhayin na naman talaga ulit. <laughs> Yun. Yun yung language journey ko. Parang, hindi siya consistent. Yeah. Mm. I guess so, it's, hirap. Uh, I guess part din talaga yun yung process ng learning the language. At saka, I guess it's understandable din na in the first place kasi eh, we're Filipino and alam mo yun, hindi naman talaga siguro for, for some people mag invest talaga sila ng time to, to learn. Pero with your situation po kasi talaga, alam mo yun, nagkameron ng bagyo, tapos uh, may mga priorities in life. So, it's okay. Mali mo, parang isinet ka lang talaga ni Lord for the right timing which is now. Di ba uh-huh. na... Sabi, wait lang, chill ka lang. Ibigay ko sa iyo. <laughs> Ibigay ko sa yung time. Pero di ba, look at, grabe ngayon, yung uh, your skills talaga in in speaking the Korean language. Parang pinaghandaan talaga siya. Napaka. Ako, amaze na amaze. Kasi gusto ko talaga po matuto. Just, it's, uh, it's a sign. <laughs> oh, and then, like, nag-try talaga. This Siguro ganito sign. din. Ganito kay, ano, kay Miss Jerica. May time si Lord. <laughs> Maybe, ano, uh, after graduation, uh, maybe in the future, we'll see. Pero, uh, Ms. Jerica, with that being said, yung kwenento nyo po, uh, we would like to know yung way po na, how did you become po yung parang fluent? Kung sa ears po kasi namin ni Lloyd, it's very, ano tawag doon? Like, it fluent. It parang, ano yung yan fluent. Yan po yung level yan, namin. Ah, napaka-fluent na to. Paano po yung... K-drama feels na yung ganun. <laughs> Oo, like, sa amin po, like, we would know na, ay, medyo nag-ano pa siya, like, need pa ng time, ng konti. Pero with you po kasi, when we looked at your TikTok, de-decho po siya. So, mm-hmm. kaya po, ang dating po sa amin ni Lloyd, it's on the category na po ng fluent. So, we would like to know po, ano yung uh, way mo po na, or tips, or... yung mga practice na ginawa niyo po in order to reach this uh, kung sa amin nga po is yung fluency. Oh, hindi po talaga ako confident talaga to say na ay yung fluent. Like, kasi I still consider myself as a learner talaga. Tapos kapag may nagko-comments na ang fluent mo, ang galing-galing mo, parang parang sobrang overwhelming yung ganun ba na Kasi, kasi sa sarili ko talaga, hindi pa ako ganun kagaling. Hindi pa ganun, na, hindi ko pa na-reach yung ganun fluency. Pero sa ibang tao, kapag nanonood sila, nagkagalingan sila. So, parang may part na sobrang thankful ako. Then may part rin na parang gusto ko laging mag-explain na, please, hindi po talaga ako ganun kagaling. Like, I'm still a learner. Pero, I can say na I am capable. Pero, not to the point na parang expert level. Ganun. Saka, As I said, I've never been to Korea, so my fluency is not 100% assessed yet. Kasi, kasi I'm not exposed to like a large number of Korean natives. Pero, but the reason that helped me reach this far sa, sa learning in Korean, maybe because I felt talaga the connection. Parang, grabe yung attachment ng Korea kahit hindi pa ako nakapunta. 
parang siguro yun yung ano kasi parang may intimate reason ako for learning kasi parang sobra yung connection niya kasi di ba kasi gusto mahal ko yung parang music yung drama yung actors yung culture and of course the language parang having that connection to a foreign place that I've never even been to parang siguro kasi parang hindi ko pa siya napupuntahan parang mas driven ako na na mag-aral pa kasi kasi parang na-inspire ako na uy siguro kapag nakapunta ako grabe na ganun ako kagaling parang mas magagamit ko pa kasi habang tumatagal yung panahon hindi ko pa na-reach yung goal ko na makapunta doon mas, mas parang lumilevel up din yung parang drive ko na todo pa natin to let's speak the language kahit dito lang sa Pinas yung, tapos yung Uh, when it comes to parang strategies or parang practices talaga, um, through the years, I was fond of uh, practicing my Korean speaking skills. By speaking talaga, parang kahit na sarili kang, kahit magmukha kong tanga, magmukha kong baliw, na ako lang, sarili ko lang yung kausap ko. Like, ganun, lagi akong nagsasalita talaga sa bahay, nung mag-is, kahit, kahit hindi ako nakaintinda ng pamilya ko. Like, parang automatic na lang siyang lalabas sa bibig ko. Tapos, yung parang parang naging habit na siya kasi kasi in the long run parang i knew talaga na magagamit ko yun yung pagsasalita ko ng mag-isa tapos i also write i also like um, writing diaries in korean language yung parang diary entries like kung ano yung ah, para especially kung frustrated ako kung galit na galit ako parang nabubuhos ko siya Aside na parang napra-practice yung writing skills ko during diary writing. Napra-practice rin yung ano, speaking skills ko kasi I like reciting the diary entries that I write. Parang kahit, kahit hindi ko alam kung tama yung pronunciation ko, kasi nababasa ko siya na parang nai-enunciate ko siya, napra-practice din siya yung panonood ng Korean dramas, Korean variety shows. It helped me also like in gaining vocabulary. Saka doon ko mas na-check yung correct, pron- correct pronunciations kasi kasi iba kasi yung dating ng parang conversation sa Korean dramas saka sa variety shows kasi para di ba more on real life. So yung mga nuances, yung mga sinasabi nila parang magagamit mo talaga siya in real or real life scenarios. Tapos I also like kasi ano rating Uh, parang fictional stories ganoon so yung konti lang yung kaibigan ko na no, alam na nagsusulat ako ng mga ganoon ngayon ko lang din parang na share so parang i applied that skill in writing korean scripts dun yung ginagamit ko sa tiktok ko din minsan kasi dati yung una like mahilig ako mag-upload ng parang skits in korean yun parang mas na-practice ko siya kasi yung mga scenarios ko in english translate ko siya in korean tas may may meron din kasi akong parang tiny passion like tiny passion in acting so doon ko na buo sa TikTok kasi kasi mas confident talaga ako sa TikTok kasi kasi hindi ko makakilala yung nanonood yun kasi sa like yeah from sa Facebook or sa Messenger like is the story ko hindi hindi ko hindi ko gusto kahit sa TikTok kasi man, kasi alam kong hindi ako kilala ng mga tao, mas confident ako ipakilala ko nila yung <laughs> oo. Amazing po. Pero I, I, if may eyes po, if tatanig ko po kayo, on a scale of 1 to 10, nasaan po kayo there on fluency? Kaya ko 8 or 7.5. Wow! wow. Pas na nun! <laughs> Seba! <laughs> pwede, pwede ring 6. Depende. Depende depende rin sa audience kasi aside from the good comments that I receive, meron din talagang magkakomment na Usually talaga yung maraming nagko-comment sa videos ko ng mga Pinoy na nasa Korea. Lagi silang galit kapag nagko-comment sila sa videos ko na hintayin mong pumunta ka na Korea. Hindi gan parang tas meron ding iba nagka na parang good side naman na grabe years na ako sa Korea pero mas magaling ka ba sa akin? Oo. Meron naman ganun pero mostly talaga kapag may nagko-comment na parang nando sa Korea. Eh, ewan ko, lahat kayo silang galit. Ewan ko lang. <laughs> Bakit silang galit? <laughs> di ba mas galit. nakaka-proud if ano? Oo, oh, di ba? Sabi niyo. Paano kababayan mo? Magaling mag-Korean. Oo, oh, di ba? Ano din, sabi din po sa amin ni si Kyung Min po. Uh, para, para po siyang si Ryan Bang. Friend po siya ni Ryan Bang na na-interview po namin. Uh, according po sa kanya, it's... Uh, tawag dito, hindi naman necessary yung exact and the like, precise ano po eh na pronunciation uh, what matters po is yung na appreciate mo yung mismong 
uh, language. language and it's already a big thing po to actual Koreans and this is said po na by an actual Korean guest we had po for episode 2 so I guess uh, mas maniniwala po kami dun it, yeah. he's an actual Korean so big thing na daw po sa kanila yung anyo sayo gang samida so I don't know why kung ba yung minention nyo po nagagalit pa sila it's impressive oh. na eh and magagab if you learn this thing, magagamit mo siya pagdating mo dun. So instead, usiguro na like ano ba yan? Hindi ganyan sa Korea. It, they have to pick up something. At least, di ba? Yun sabi nga po ni Lloyd, kababayan, marunong. So iba din po yun. Yeah. And I guess, ano, ang mahirap kasi sa Philippines, hindi ko naman gene-generalize na. Pero yung crab mentality ta siya ga. Alam mo, kung sino pa yung mga magkapwa Filipino, sila-sila pa yung naghihilahan pa baba. Oh, oh. ba? Instead oh. of, ayun, alam mo yun, uplifting yung, like someone, uh, like someone na, kapag si Miss Cherica, di ba, na, she, na who's trying, di ba, to, to really learn the, the Korean language. Di ba, parang sa end natin, mas nakaka-proud pa nga yung gano'n, di ba? Ay, yung ibang Pilipino, ano ba ulit, sa'yo may nagpuntang ibang nationality dito. Tapos, nags, nagsabi lang ng kamusta po or something. Very proud na, di ba? Yung mga gano'n. So, I, I don't get the point talaga na bakit kailangan nilang magalit na yung sa mga videos mo. Oh, usually kasi na nag... Like, yung men, minsan, may mga Koreans na nagko-comment. Like, parang compliments lang. Eh, especially sa Koreanitas. Pero... Yung napansin ko talaga, yung mga kababayan nating Pinoy na nasa Korea, na nakapag-asawa ng Korean, sila yung laging may negative na sinasabi na, hintayin mo kapag nakapag-asawa ka ng tiga busan, tiga, yung may sasori, hindi ganyan. Huwag ganyan-ganyan, ganyan lang yung soul, soul accent, soul accent lang yung alam mo. So, nag-upload lang naman ako para ko sa kaya naman i-share. <laughs> Ba't galit ba't na ganit ka? ka? <laughs> ba't kasalanan ko pang tigabusan yung nga pangasawa mo? Ba't diba? parang, parang ganun? <laughs> Pero wala. Hindi, hindi rin kasi ako uh, nagre-reply ng ganun. Yeah, that's wala na. Hayaan uh-huh. na lang natin sila. Nahayaan ko lang. Mm-hmm. So it's better nga po na ganyan eh. Kesa naman yung asawa mo, hindi nyo naman po na iintindihan. <laughs> Diba? Pick a struggle. Pick a struggle. So, mas ko ako po sa'yo na mas gusto ko yung alam ko yung actual language. Then, having the busan, uh, at tawag dun, yung tone or dialect. Exact. Like, Pari nila, oo. Yeah. So, yun po. And, with that po, Ms. Cherica, uh, you also mentioned po na you're into K-dramas po, diba? Ayan na. Yes. Ayan na. <laughs> <laughs> joke na po. Oh, um, what is that one famous line po from a K-drama series that you would like to ano, re-enact po with your siguro po, favorite actor or actress? Uh, meron, like, yung Goblin. Oh. Oh, goblin Alam again, mo, Lloyd. Nagpaparamdam na talaga sa akin yung Goblin na panahorin ko. <laughs> yung boyfriend, yung parang boyfriend scene <coughs> sa Goblin talaga. Favorite po talaga yung parang batuhan ng line si Kim Ko on Takat saka ni Gong Yu sa scene na yun. I don't know if parang matatandaan nyo yung scene na parang nag-aawi sila at sabi ni Kim ko na parang anong klase kang parang guardian ni boyfriend na hindi mo mag-grant yung wish. Parang ganun. Merong scene na talaga. Yun talaga. Mahaba actually siyang line pero favorite to favorite ko talagang line yun. It's a sign, Lloyd. Goblin. Yeah. Pangalawang Ito, time na po ito. Oo. Uh, <laughs> Na na mention sa podcast. So kailangan na talaga ng panoor. Pero uh, Miss Cherka, do you remember po the exact line? Oo. Like yung sa Korean. Pwede pong ano, like pa sample. <laughs> <laughs> kasi parang galit, parang galit kasi si Kim ko. Sige nga. Hiya. Now we are coming on. Namtin na na mayo. Alpha imo ni namtin sa social ire. Ani lo chat tayo namtin. Yo, yun yung sabi niya. <laughs> Grabe. Oh I'm my so- god. Sabi ni Kim Go, and like, if you really want the best for me, find me a boyfriend. Ay. Hindi a work. Find me an aunt. Find me a boyfriend. So, anong klaseng virgin, anong klaseng goblin ka? Kung Miss Kim boyfriend, hindi mo kaya mo ibigay sa akin. Tapos doon yung part na sabi ni Go, yung na, ano pang ina, sinong anong boyfriend yung hinahanap mo? Nalikas na sa harapan mo. Ako. Yun, yung scene na yun. Yun oh, yung I favorite ko talaga na scene. <laughs> yun yung patuhan nila ng life. Agad ako nakamove ko. on dun sa ano, Korean version. <laughs> Ewan ko. Amazing. Talaga. Though hindi pa po namin nakikita yung Goblin. Eh, Lloyd, ikaw ba? Nakita mo na ba yun? 
Oh, sa soundtracks nila akong ano, eh, parang first na introduce. Like yung mga OST ng Goblin kasi super ganda talaga. Ayun, yeah. pero it's a pap- sign. Uh, Ano yung mga K-dramas na napanood niyo na? Oh no. Uh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> ano oh, we got kasi... this question once po. <laughs> yeah. Pero uh, very limited pa po kasi yung ano, like ako, ang napanood ko lang na na K-drama sa isa actually isa pa lang oh, to be honest oh yung yung sa ako kasi pag sa Netflix parang ang dami dong K-dramas di ba tapos uh, yung isa kong friend nag-recommend lang sa akin ay panoorin mo itay what na ano class nung napanood ko siya sabi ko oh, okay maganda naman tapos nung nalaman ko pa na CV sa ano BTS isa na siya sa mga kumanta ng OST. So, mas lalong, ano, alam mo yun, parang eager na, sige, panoorin ko na yan. Para, di ba, parang may something in common na makakatilit ako. Mm-hmm. Pero, ayun, maganda nga siya, actually. So, ayun po, moving forward po with our next uh, question. Kasi for for other people, they are very invested in learning other foreign language. So, in your perspective po, as uh, someone who, had studied, who has studied the Korean language, How would you describe the, the experience po, or the process of learning it in comparison to uh, learning other foreign languages? And to follow up na lang din po with uh, the question that I've mentioned, uh, among all the foreign languages that we have today, what makes the Korean language so interesting to learn from other foreign languages? Yun na. <laughs> so ako talaga, I believe, um, parang the process of Korean language these days talaga, these days, Parang the process of learning it is easier and faster compared to learning the other foreign languages because um, considering the parang the immense popularity of Hello Wave, especially dito sa Pilipinas, I can really observe that um, the Korean language parang learning resources may it be online or not parang widely distributed siya or parang openly available siya. So especially during the pandemic, there are there were a lot of free Korean language na online classes. I believe na anyone who would like to start learning the Korean language right now, feeling ko talaga mas mabilis or mas madaling matutunan kaysa kung ibang ibang foreign language ka matututo. For example, uh, mag-mention na tayo ng isang foreign language. Ah, these days, meron akong kinahiligan na parang Turkish. Oh my God. Turkish na series. Hala, magiging five language na. Ah, <laughs> Kabahan na tayo. Uh, in this Turkish series na parang pinapanood ko, meron na ako parang parang napafamiliarize na mga words na Turkish na parang nakakatch ako na siya habang pinapanood ko. So, if I would, if I would um, parang compare the two, Korean and Turkish, but it's really hard for me to learn the Turkish language. Pero kasi first, I don't know anything about the Turkish culture. Tapos, nung nap, nap, na, nanonood ako ng Turkish na drama, yung nuances nila yung speaking, sobrang new sa akin. Parang, sobrang bago. Parang, I would start from zero if I would learn that far language. Pero, if Korean language naman yung gusto matutunan ng iba, especially Filipinos, pili ko mas, mas madaling matutunan kasi sa Pilipinas, parang malawak yung, parang yung culture ng K-drama, ng K-pop. Kahit ano, so kahit yeah. inong Pilipino yata, alam na nila na kapag may music na tumunog, alam nila na lang K-pop. Tapos yung Korean dramas, diba? especially sa Philippine TV, pinapalabas. So, super wide yung parang Korean culture dito sa Pilipinas. So, I think that's one of the reason na bakit mas mabilis matuto ng Korean kasi parang face-to-face, parang kaharap mo na mismo yung Korean culture dito sa Pilipinas. Kahit saan ka pumunta, parang nakalahad na siya sa'yo. Parang parang binibigay na siya sa iyo. Yeah. So I think that's the reason why um it's easier. So what makes the Korean language naman interesting interesting among other foreign languages? Siguro um mapapansin din nila na actually I can't pinpoint talaga like the exact reason kung bakit interesting yung Korean among other foreign languages. Pero kasi talaga parang may charm yung Korean language. Iba iba yung dating niya. Siguro Um, the reason why Filipinos also love listening to K-pop and watching Korean dramas is because of the language that is behind that. Yung Korean language, siguro, teasing siya sa ears. Hindi ko alam sa iba. Kasi the enunciation, the, inun- the intonation, and then parang it sounds unique talaga compared to other foreign languages. Tapos sabayin parang emotions. 
habang nagsasalita ng okay, queen iba yeah. parang iba yung atake kung galit kung pa cute ewan iba iba talaga tapos when it comes naman to the written form in Korean language sobrang parang uh, pwedeng gawing calligraphy yung hangul yung Korean alphabet parang visually aesthetic um actually the most interesting part talaga in the Korean language is from the Korean the sentence structure itself kasi yung kung paano siya nabubuo yung paano na paano nag-change yung sentences yung conjugations kasi mahirap mahirap talaga siyang aralin yung Korean language pero yung pagka-complicated niya i think it's what makes it interesting din and yung for our next ano po uh, Miss Cherica we'll talk about naman po yung TikTok niyo and <laughs> we had to do research din po kasi uh, prior to interviewing you po uh, what can you say po dun sa mga contents niyo being viral po on TikTok grabe ma grabe, actually of thousands of like, views for someone like me talaga who had no intention of doing TikTok before it's very like shocking overwhelming like parang unexpected talaga unbelievable siya parang hindi ko talaga like hindi ko talaga siya inexpect na may magbuboom ng mga videos kasi kasi actually sobrang dami ring Filipino TikToker na nagsasalita rin in Korean and mas magaling pa yata sila sa akin pero may nakakapansin na parang napansin ako ng iba instead na sa kanila parang ganun parang hala grabe naman sobrang na- talaga nakakagulat every time na may nagla-like ng videos ko but minsan kapag umaabot ng 100,000 views parang di talaga ako makapaniwala lalo na lang kung umaabot ng million views but, grabe yung TikTok yung reach niya parang ang minsan tinatawag ko talaga parang ang halimaw naman ng mga tao sa TikTok kasi <laughs> oo kasi parang grabe yung reach talaga ng videos maraming nakakapanood kung sa YouTube ka mag-upload parang Sobrang yung chances na makita ng tao is parang mahirap, very, very limited. So, sa TikTok, hindi ako makapaniwala. It's like halo-halong amazement, tsaka nervousness rin. Kasi kapag maraming nakakakita, baka mas maraming pumuna. Parang ganun na mga feeling. Parang kinakabahan din ako talaga kapag umaabot ng 1,000 comments. Hindi ko oh. na mabasa lahat. Parang hindi ko na alam kung ano kayo yung mga sinabi nila. Hindi ko na lumit na ino-open sa sobrang kabado ko. Kasi yeah. hindi ko talaga in-expect na. So actually kahit 10 comments lang, yung nare-receive ko, nasasyak pa talaga ako. Kasi pwede mo naman di bang lampasan lang yung video ko. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-comment. Pero may magko-comment at may magko-comment. So parang grabe. But sometimes it's, it's just, you know, parang too good to be true. So yun, rather than feeling anxious then super thing for then ako from halo halo parang anxious ako parang worried ako, worried ako at the same time so thankful so overall lagi akong nagugulat lagi lagi kahit 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 may experience na ako dati na parang may umabot ng million views kapag nangyayari ulit parang so lagi lang ako oo oh, oh, lagi ako nagugulat always hindi nagbabago hanggang ngayon ganun pa rin yung feeling but speaking of contents, since uh, marami-rami na rin po kayo na-post sa uh, TikTok, among all the contents po na you posted, what's that one video na pinaka-favorite niyo? Uh, there's this one video that I am very proud of. Um, last year, siya, in-upload ko siya, March 24, 2021. And it was my first na Korean language na parang drama script. Yun yung sinasabi ko kanina, namilig ako mag or magsalat-salat ng parang fiction something. Pero parang Korean language na counterpart siya. Tapos super proud ako dun para sa sarili ko. First na script ko yun na ginawa. Tapos hindi, hindi siya viral. It, meron siyang 74,000 views. Tapos mga 7,000 likes. Hindi siya nag-viral. Pero super proud ako kasi I, kasi I acted it out. Kasi, and I was able to de- deliver and memorize the lines ng isahang video lang. So parang Parang na-shock din ako sa sarili ko. Parang yung pang isang video, walang cut, walang edit. Yung, yung edit lang dito is yung subtitles. Pero dire-diretso lang siya ang video. Kasi I have mentioned din kanina na parang I have this tiny dream. Parang tiny passion in acting. Siguro kasi sobrang gusto ko yung video na yun. Parang konting touch, parang drama, tas acting. Parang yung mga nag-comment nga na parang 
pwede na raw pang k-drama ganyan pero hindi hindi pa ganung level pero proud lang ako sa parang sa yung process ng video na yun hindi siya kinalabasan pati sa sa process nung paggawa ko doon doon ako proud wow kasi feeling ko ano din eh uh, iba rin kasi talaga yung hugot doon sa sa video na yun like Ayun nga po, pinaghandaan niyo siya talaga. Tapos, feeling ko yung yung process din talaga ng mga pinagdaanan niya. Like yung sa pag-write ng, ng script. Tapos, in, as you mentioned, it is something na parang you're passionate about. Like yung, yung sinabi niyo, a little bit ng ano, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero parang it's a, a milestone din na finally, kahit pa paano, nagawa mo din yung something you love. But Uh-oh. ito na. Ito na ang ating Tuna. pasabog sa ating podcast. But before we proceed po sa last set of questions, alam nyo kasi Miss Cherica, dito po sa podcast namin, may mga pagsubok po pinagdadaanan ng ating mga uh, guests. Pero ano? don't worry, ito naman pagsubok ay, alam, alam mo yung parang hindi naman siya very mahirap. It's just a fun game, very easy. Lalo na kayo very expert. Hindi naman pala expert. <laughs> expert. Thank you, thank Pero, you. Pero, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baka ma-overwhelm na siya. <laughs> Very uh, capable, di ba? In speaking the Korean language. So, uh, Jess will be explaining the mechanics of the game po. So, Jess, do it. Sabi. Miss Cherica, this is ano po, parang very special kasi it's not the usual thing na ginagawa po namin na the question. Although we did this kay Kim Min Kim, so pagdating po sa inyo, other way around. Yeah, may twist. So, may twist. So, <laughs> hindi po siya. It's fast talk po, basically. Pero, since language po, again, po yung ano, uh, general topic nung this week's episode, very much like Kim Min Kim. So, ang inyo po is, si Lloyd po, will be giving you different random English questions. Yung twist po dito is you have to answer the questions in Korean. Korean. Oh my God. So, my Kim Min Kim doon. <laughs> dito talaga baba natin natin yung skill. Oh, my Kim Min po doon, yung kinekwento po namin, uh, Korean national and uh, variety show host. Binigyan yeah. po namin siya ng uh, English words. Ang kanya po, ah, ano niya in Tagalog? He will translate it. Oh, so, so inyo po since... is Korean. Ready na po ba kayo? <laughs> Baka hindi ko alam yung iba. Kinakabalan talaga ako. It's okay po. Pero feeling ko naman talaga, baka nga mais nyo po itong mga set of questions. And don't worry, it's just ano lang naman. It's a fun game. So, Miss Cherk, are ready na ba? Ready na ba ang ating <laughs> well, <laughs> Korean well, language? Well, well, choice. Choice. Ready na. <laughs> okay, ito na. Uh, for the first uh, question ng ating fast talk, introduce yourself in Korean language. Oh, diba very easy? Kayang kaya. <laughs> oh, ano yung... Hello, hello. I'm Charika Lawrence for two years. I'm going to be a good one. 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 Annyeong at me lang po. Kinakabahan pa po ba yan? Parang hindi naman. Sana ganito Dali. questions lang din yung iba. Very, ano la, ato, second. Sing a verse from your favorite K-pop song. Favorite K-pop song. Then Korean. Uri yung mga may nagyan mariso. Ontin, alam dito si Mariko. Sarang. Singer. Singer. <laughs> Singer din. Ang talento din naman po. Parang lahat natin na aspect ng, di ba na nakuha niya nila. Acting, Grabe singing. Dancing. Love okay lang po yan. Chill lang tayo dito. Hindi naman po to graded recitation. <laughs> Next. Uh, describe what you are feeling right now in Korea. Ani kinsang deyo. Sinta. Ani kinsang deyo. Ne. Oh. Kinsang deyo. What does nervous. it mean? Nervous. I'm very nervous. Yon. Oh. Kinsang deyo. Next. Kabe, I'm so be... impressed right now. Yeah, wala pa tayo. Pang-apat na question na tayo. Wala pang ano ha. Wala pa tong uh, palya ha. Sa so, mga listeners po natin, on the spot po to. Hindi po to rehearse. Opo. Oh, <laughs> okay, next. Um, how would you react if someone confess his feelings to you? Tresongante, sigan opsayo. Ooh, what does it I'm mean? I'm sorry. Po? I have no time. Oh! <laughs> Amazing, 
talaga wala akong masabi. Hindi <laughs> mo kaya. <laughs> o oh, yung mga ano dyan mag-confess ha. Alam niyo na. <laughs> Busy po ang isang Miss Chair ka Lorenz. <laughs> so bago na lang po tayo sa next life. <laughs> next. Um, what would you say if someone made you mad? Grr. Grr. <laughs> Yoga way. Yunan. Moji. Wenante. Hanan goya. Yunan way. Kan. 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 What's the reason? Wow. Just give me the reason. Yan na lang masasabi ko din, Lloyd. Wala na din ako masabi. Parang very amazed na. And uh, what's next? Ito. How would you greet the anyong kwento mo listeners in Korea? Ah. Teka, meron akong... Oh. Ano yung kwento ng 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 Tashi to Hambon in sa Harkeo, Don and Sarika Lawrence. Yeah, yo. Oh, a TikTok is so, a TikTok is on YouTube. So, um, one edu sin at a bunter, Tomar, uh, Dante, Dante, um, one edu so, Tomar, Kumapu, Tomar, Yongkwang, Igo, Apuro, do, Yoshimi, Haltenica, uh, ne, Pogyong Sang, Dirdo, Omani, Kide, to Siku, Charbutak, Tereo, Kam Sangita. Yeah. Kung sa mga lalay na alam. <laughs> Sige po, pa-translate na lang po if you don't uh, mind. <laughs> uh, sabi ko to all, to all listeners of anyong kwento mo, um, uh, to, all, to all who are supporting also my TikTok and YouTube, thank you, for, thank you for all your support. And it's really an honor. And then I hope you also uh, are look forward to my other uh, future videos. Thank you, Dion. Wow. Hope I will look forward to that. <laughs> Ang galing, na ano ako, <laughs> natutulala ako. Yeah, same. Um, nasa, nasa na ba ta? Ito, drop your favorite Korean expression. Ah, ano ba magandang favorite? Wala akong favorite expression. Or yung parang Wait. lagi mo nalang uh, ginagamit. Otoke? Ganun lang. Super basic. Otoke? Familiar sa akin. Otoke? Familiar yung otoke. Otoke. Or how? How? Oh, yeah. Narinig niyo yun eh. Paano? Lagi, lagi, lagi siyang lumalabas. Every time. Mm-hmm. Kahit ano. Otoke. Otoke. Kahit, kahit, kahit si mama, kapatid. Lag, automatic siyang lumalabas. Sa'yo? Kapag, kapo, kapag nervous. Ganun. Otoke. Uh, <laughs> Nasusok na lang sila. Biglang nagkukuriyan na yung anak. <laughs> Sanay na sila. Sanay na sila sa akin. Hindi nila maintindihan. Pero parang, kapag nagsasalita ko ng Korean, wala. Wala na sila. Pag alam na, wala na sila. Oo. Yeah, like Korean na. na sila. <laughs> Next is, um, things you would say if you meet your Korean idol. Sarang eh. Sarang eh. Sarang eh. Mani po ko ship ko. Hangsang ong one heart kayo. Sarang eh. Yo. Yo. Medyo nag-gets ko ng slide. Sarang hila. Money po ko. Ito na. We're down to the last two questions. Ito mo ha. Sabi si Jess, may ace nyo to eh. Medyo kinakabahan pa. Patapos na tayo, hindi pa siya pumapal. Yeah. Comment ko ano na talaga. Yan? I'm so speechless. Napakagalit. Ito. Feeling ko medyo challenge siya dito. Pero nagawa na niya kanina eh. Pero let's see. Um, pretend that you are in a K-drama scene right now and you are about to let go of a person that you love. How would you say it? Letting go of the person I love? Yeah. Nasa climax ka na ng, ano, let's say, nasa climax na yung series na yun, yung K-drama. Like letting go or siya yung umaal? Ako ba yung nag-let go? You will let go. go. Oh. Like ako yung nag-let go. Oh. <laughs> Okay, meron ako naisip. Pwede pong umiyak dito pero wala po akong pambayad sa TF. 
<laughs> Ayun na, nag-internalize na siya. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Kabe. Kabwa. Taume po. Anak ko si. Kabe. Kabwa. Sarangi. Kut. Oh, kat. <laughs> What? Oh my okay. god. Let's Ito na, last one. Pili ko na yung magagawa okay, na rin ilang, ito eh. Ilang last one na to? Ito na po, pinakalasa talaga. Number 10 na po ito. Number 10, hu! Nagpawis na ako doon. For the last <laughs> uh, set, eh last set, <laughs> last uh, question for this past talk, sing your favorite favorite K-pop rap verse. Sige, nagagawag ka ng kore. Rapping for way sa kore. Kung saan ako sa mga rin, yung nabakil list at tawa rin. Don't thank you to go to my meeting, kaya siya mo, taro na bag, girl. Yan. Oh. Nothing. Do do do. Oh, diba? So ano pa sasabihin natin? Dito tapos na laban. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun lang naman po, grabe. Wow. I'm amazed. Na. na surprise po ba kayo sa ating pa oh. Pero oh, you did great po, to Thank be honest. You. Like imagine 10 set of questions tapos hindi kayo na brief. Tapos on oh. the spot. How? <laughs> Pero ayun. <laughs> Miss Cherica, thank you for uh, participating for, for sa aming mini game. And ayun, thank you also. Na humasab. Kasi kung mga listeners natin very ano na yan, shocked. <laughs> Ako shocked and you nailed it po talaga. Yeah, But, grabe. Uh, Miss Cherica, we are down to the last uh, set of questions we want to ask you po. Uh, what are your tips for anyong kwento mo listeners who would like to learn the Korean language? Ayan na moment ko na. <laughs> Uh, itong tips ko. Actually, I have um, already shared this on my YouTube channel na parang briefly ko na lang siyang uh, ishishare. So, I have these um, five personal tips. And then, yung number one is if you want to learn the Korean language, um, you know, number one, find parang find an intimate reason for learning. Kasi kung wala kang matatag na reason, hindi ka talaga matututo agad. Yun, kung nagandahan ka lang, sa tunog parang sa tunog ng Korean or parang nakyutan ka lang parang hindi siya hindi siya parang nice reason para makaya mong matutunan lahat-lahat especially when it comes to a foreign language like Korean yun so and the next step is yung number two is learn Hangul for first so the best foundation in learning Korean is to learn its basics so and those are the alphabets with its sounds of course so yun don't kap na establish if you learn the basics first and then Number three is never rely on romanization. Like, kasi kung laging sa romanization ka umaasa, hindi maaayos yung parang spelling skills mo in Hangul, tsaka hindi mo rin parang ma-enhance yung pronunciation skills mo. Ta- hindi talaga magiging tama yung pagbigkas kung, so, 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 kung sa romanization ka aasa. Tapos number four naman, ito parang uh, pinakakalaban nating lahat is to make time. Yun. Kasi diba, um, ang free time para mag-aaral ng Korean language, I, I mean, kung maghanap ng free time, sobrang hirap, especially these days na parang maraming ginagawa. Kahit pandemic, kahit nasa bahay lang, maraming ka rin ginagawa. So, it's really um, difficult talaga to find time. Pero if you can, make time. Yun. If you can, make time. So, dapat you really have to make time. Para hindi, para hindi ma, parang matulad sa akin na inconsistent kasi walang time eh. parang kung ma-feel ko lang na mag-aral doon lang mas maganda pa rin yung parang consistent ka parang invested ka to learn that Korean language number five is to practice 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 like there are many ways to practice your Korean language skills so you must parang you must utilize your skills talaga your own strengths and then you must find what learning strategy is best for you kasi diba iba-iba naman diba yung learning style ng tao so it depends on you. Kahit kahit ka pa minsan mag mag research ng strategies, if hindi nagfit-fit sa yo, pag hindi bagay kung how you learn something, hindi rin siya parang magiging successful. So yun. 
yun lang naman yung parang easy five tips in the history for your language. So, yung mga narinig an yung kwento mo, if you want to uh, know more about it, meron ako video. Ayan. <laughs> so, yun, nandun lang yun, hanapin nila lang. Yes. Noted po. <laughs> yes. Ayan na. It's a sign. <laughs> yes. Yes. Noted po yun, Ms. Jerica. I'll be one of the, ano, manunood po yan pag nagka-time po. So, yun po. And next question po namin is, what's your message to your supporters po? Z100. Uh, how many? 156,000 followers. Grabe. Uh, Actually, um, even associating the word supporters to me is parang really something, parang something new, something parang overwhelming talaga. Parang not for me, parang, parang, parang who am I to have parang ganun na supporters? But hindi ko talaga, hindi siya nagda-digest talaga sa akin. Pero I am, I am, I am beyond grateful for all the support na, na I have gotten since last year. Tapos, And thank you talaga. Thank you to all who is following my TikTok account and also for subscribing my YouTube channel. And thank you for all the kind comments. Thank you for all the compliments. Thank you for the million likes generally. I was receiving 156,000 followers is is not something that I was expecting talaga. Actually, my first video on TikTok was just me having parang a duet with a Korean native. Because it was just for me talaga to practice my speaking skills talaga. I really had no intention of content creating. Doon, meron lang talagang isang video na nakapag-push sa akin. Parang merong isang video na nag-boom. Tapos, nagkaroon ako ng thousands na followers. And then, doon na nag-start na parang, ah, sige, push na lang natin to. Like, gawa na lang tayo ng content kasi meron namang nakadiscover. Merong, merong gustong manood pa. Merong, merong nagka-comment na gusto pa nila ng iba pa. Ganun. So, parang ganun din. So, thank you so much, everyone. And I hope uh, you will still parang continue uh, to support me, especially in my in my small YouTube channel. Kasi I am planning also to make yung awaited video. Ma- matagal na siyang hinihinga sa akin since last year pa. So, hindi ko talaga mabigay-bigay kasi naging busy rin ako. Yung parang um, Korean alphabet para tutorial, uh, basic Korean language na parang tutorial. Parang I am planning na to create that Ayan content na. on YouTube. So, again, thank you so much. Uh, no, magkukurya na lang ako ng konti. So, ito kirang Yusuf Esonai kay Ong Ruman Hedjo Senyora Bonto Chin Shimuro Kamsadri ko. Ito yung siya yung guwang ni Goyo. Kasi ko, up to the to tone content si Ander ko. Oh, yung siya may heart ko eh. Anong konti siya chumpi hago isa ni ka. Oh, kida hedjo si ko chal butak tira kayo. Then, kang saan ni ba? Oo. Kunwari lang din dyan na ako maka-art naman. Ha Sige po, for our daily listeners po na, ano, pa-translate na lang din po. <laughs> oh, yun, parang same lang din sinabi po lang kanina sa lahat ng mga nanood doon ng TikTok, ng yeah. YouTube video ko. So, I hope you will still um, parang wait for my future videos kasi medyo natitenga na rin yung TikTok ko. Wala pa rin akong bagong yeah. upload. Merong, merong nag- mag-PM sa Instagram na kailan na ulit yung parang next video, ano yung kadugtong ng ganito, ganyan. Nagahanap na sila. Oo, oo. So, wala akong may present. So, thankful and at the same time, parang, um, sorry. Sorry sa mga parang nakihintay, tapos wala akong ma-upload. So, uh, I'm really hoping na this 2022 talaga, it will be from, like, it will be like, uh, a better year for me para mas nakapag-focus din, kapag-upload din ng maraming videos na, ma, uh, parang, makaka-help sa kanila especially yun kasi alam ko naman mostly talaga sa 156,000 na yun like lahat like interested sa Korean language so yun thankful 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 talaga you deserve it po talaga but before anything else po before we wrap up this show uh, is there anything you would like to promote pa po sa inyong kwento mo podcast Uh, sa mga TikTok followers na hindi alam na may YouTube channel ako, <laughs> yun, meron ako YouTube channel, share ka Lawrence po, and then, yun, kung gusto niyo akong i-follow sa Instagram, kung gusto niyo lang naman, kung meron kayo questions, share ka Lawrence din, 
Tapos meron din akong Facebook page. Doon ako usually nag-update kung may update ako sa YouTube video. Doon ako usually nagpo-post. So, Cherry ko Lawrence din. Sa TikTok lang talaga, Chika Lawrence. And then, yung mga nag email din, meron din yun, Cherry ko Lawrence at gmail.com din kayo mag-email. Yun. So, alam niyo yung Korea mo listeners, uh, you can follow me on TikTok, Chika Lawrence po. So, Yon, thank you, thank you so much for this opportunity again for inviting me here on Anyong Kento Mo. Ayan. So our dear listeners, make sure you guys watch out for her future contents and subscribe sa kanya mga uh, social media accounts. So YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook. And if may I add po, uh, it's just a part po ng aming podcast. We have a short uh, realization po. And I, from this episode, I remembered yung sinabi po ng lola ko na uh, you will, ano, yung, you will parang continue doing what you love if gusto mo talaga ginagawa. Parang in the line po na ganyan. So, she's in America and through the phone yung sinabi and through like three years or I don't know kung ilang years na po, she said that and tumatak po talaga sa akin. So, in anything that we do, pag gusto talaga natin, we will like move forward and um, push through. And eventually, we will succeed and we will get yung mga gusto nating uh, ma-achieve or makuha. So, yun po yung akin. Very uh, relatable din po dun sa sinabi nyo, mga sinabi nyo po kanina. And ayun po, shout out sa lola ko. <laughs> well, ako naman po, uh, with my realization for today's uh, episode of this podcast. So, I just have to go back na lang din sa napag-usapan ko nina regarding din sa uh, with your experience, experience po na like uh, very inconsistent di ba yung like yung journey mo in learning the Korean language. And I guess uh, the learnings po kasi with that experience is that uh, maybe it's not the right time pa to alam mo yun to fully learn the language Kasi, uh, as I mentioned earlier, baka sinasat ka lang talaga ni Lord into a better parang timing in life, which is now, which is yung sinabi niyo po na uh, during uh, the year na 2021, di ba? Mm-hmm. Dinug start talaga na mag, mag-boom yung career mo on TikTok. And I guess, ayun, for our dear listeners na, alam mo yun, you have something na uh, you want to achieve in life. You just have to wait talaga with uh, the right time and you have to be patient and you just have to trust the process talaga ng, na kung ano man yung pinagdadaanan mo, maybe it's not the right time for you now, pero who knows, di ba, in the next coming years, uh, the Lord will give it talaga to you. When, kung kailan yung time and kung kailan talaga masasabi na deserve mo na. Fighting. I agree to it. Fighting po. And once again po, Ms. Cherica, in behalf of Pinoy Soul Radio, we would like to thank you po for accepting our invitation to our podcast and yung kwento mo. Yes. Maraming salamat po talaga, Ms. Cherica, for spending your time with us. And it was really a fun interview with you. Grabe, you know, up until now, di pa rin ako makapaniwala na uh, nakapag-interview kami ng someone na... na so we can be expert pero capable of uh, learning i mean speaking the korean language and i am very thankful po talaga kami for your time and to miss lorraine miss lorraine if you're listening miss lorraine right? iba talaga yung mga pinapadala niyo sa amin guys mga bigaten diba kaya thank you for helping us a big uh, thank you po diba, mas thank you po sa inyong dalawa jazz and Lloyd. thank you very much talaga for this opportunity kasi if not with both of you hindi ko may experience din yung ganito like may mag interview may mag ask about this and then this is like, like a nice platform to share um, my stories about Korean language yes. and all so, thank you thank you thank you talaga yeah. three of us would like to thank Miss Lorraine right. yes Miss Lorraine if it wasn't thank for you. her this episode but baka po hindi po nangyari so Miss yes. Lorraine if you're listening debak po kayo thank you po talaga and to our dear listeners who are tuned in with us today for this episode, of course, thank you din sa inyo. We hope you enjoyed listening to this uh, amazing episode. So, again, make sure to watch out for Miss Cherica's future content. Yes. So, I guess uh, now we have reached the closing part for today's podcast episode with Miss Cherica Lorenz. 
And with my famous line, as much as we want to extend this podcast, our time is up. And that is it for this week's episode of Anyo Kwento Mo, Cherika Lawrence. Make sure to stay tuned with our next guest and feel free again pag nag-post sana kami ng teaser. So, who knows, maybe another Korean national or hopefully celebrity. We don't uh, know. Malay mo, may nag-reply sa email natin. Oh, right. <laughs> We don't know. Uh, no more spoilers. So, yes. please tune in. And for sure, another exciting uh, time pag interview po. Yes. And as usual, Jess, alam mo yan, very excited talaga ako with the upcoming episodes pa ng ating podcast. And also, make sure to catch then the other shows on Pinoy Soul Radio like PS Pa Request with DJ Sam G every Monday and Pinoy Soul Top 20 that is live every Friday. So make sure to vote for your favorite K-pop songs by following the format posted on our Twitter account. It's at Pinoy Soul. And as usual, shameless plug na uli po. <laughs> uh, follow me on Instagram at Lloyd Bagos X. Ikaw ba, Jazz? Alam ko may, may ipa-plug na din. Uh, yes, yung ano, uh, mobile app namin, yung Pinoy Soul Radio. Uh, for now, uh, for Android users lang siya. But hopefully soon we get updates about the uh, pagiging available niya sa iOS. Para naman sa ating mga naka-iPhone. Also, like our Facebook page and visit our website. Both is PinoySoul.com to get updates with our latest contents. And also, uh, bago to, from last week, replays of each episode will be available on our YouTube channel a week after its premiere. So, the YouTube channel is Pinoy Soul, and every Wednesday, nandun na din siya. So, a week from now, you will get to see this uh, episode with Miss Cherica Lawrence on our YouTube channel. So, make sure to subscribe for you to get notified and of course ako din shameless plug follow me on instagram at justk underscore d08 so just do it <laughs> very witty ka dyan pero well i guess that that's it for today this has been lloyd and i'm jess and you're listening to anyong kwento mo where we will talk about lifestyle music and culture in both philippines and korea Yes, tune in next week for another fun and exciting episode only here at Pinoy Soul Radio. Annyeong! Bye! Oh, bye-bye! Listen to a Nyong Kwento Mo podcast with Lloyd and Jazz, where we talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Catch us again next time, only here on Pinoy Soul Radio.